what you do in your father's garage. Tune-ups, oil changes, brake relining, engine rebuilds, we built some trannies, rear ends. Okay, okay. But does being an ex-mechanic necessarily qualify you as being expert on tire marks? No. Thank you. Goodbye. Sit down and stay there until you're told to leave. Your Honor, Ms. Vito's expertise is in general automotive knowledge. It is in this area that her testimony will be applicable. Now, if Mr. Trotter wishes to voir dire a witness as to the extent of her expertise in this area, I'm sure he's going to be more than satisfied. Okay. All right. All right. Now, uh, Ms. Vito, being an expert on general automotive knowledge, can you tell me what would the correct ignition timing be on a 1955 Bel Air Chevrolet with a 327 cubic inch engine and a full barrel carburetor? It's a bullshit question. Does that mean that you can't answer it? It's a bullshit question. It's impossible to answer. Impossible because you don't know the answer. Nobody could answer that question. Your Honor, I move to disqualify Ms. Vito as an expert witness. Can you answer the question? No. It is a trick question. Why is it a trick question? Watch this. The Chevy didn't make a 327 in 55. The 327 didn't come out till 62. And it wasn't offered in the Bel Air with a four-barrel carb till 64. However, in 1964, the correct ignition timing would be four degrees before top dead center. Well, um, she's acceptable, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs>